टू वेस टू बिलोंग इन अमेरिका बाय वारती मुखर्जी अबाउट द ऑथर यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी वन नाउ अ नेचुरलाइज यू एस सिटीजन सी टीचेज एट द यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ कैलिफोर्निया एट बर्कली मुखर्जीज नॉवल्स इंक्लूड टाइगर्स डॉटर नाइनटीन सेवेंटी टू जैसमिन नाइनटीन एटी नाइन लिविड टू मी नाइनटीन नाइन्टी सेवेन डिजायरेबल डॉटर्स टू थाउजेंड टू एंड द ट्री ब्राइट टू थाउजेंड of stories are darkness 1975 and the prize winning the middleman and other stories 1988 her fiction often explores the tensions between the traditional role of women in indian society and their very different role in the united states background on us immigration policy the following essay originally published in 1996 was written in response to proposals in congress eventually defeated to enact legislation denying government benefits such as social security to resident aliens not to be confused with illegal immigrants resident aliens also called legal permanent residents are immigrants who live in united states legally sometimes for their whole lives but do not apply for citizenship most work and pay taxes like other citizen according to census bureau the un the united states population includes more than 38 million foreign born residents accounting for about 12% of population out of these 12.5 million are legal immigrant resident and 12.6 million are naturalized citizen and an estimate 11.1 million are in the country illegally most of the rest are refugees seeking political asylum and students and temporary workers with visas according although various issues related to immigration policy have been hotly debated for many years particularly a large numbers of immigrant entered the country in 1990s the terrorist attacks of september 2001 have led to closer screenings of foreigners who want to enter united states especially applying for student visas summary in english In the essay Two Ways to Belong in America the author and narrator Varati Mukherjee tries to address the issue of immigrants in America and what it truly means to belong to a country Mukherjee talks about herself and her sister's experience as first time immigrants migrating from India to America at their arrival to America they were similar in a lot of ways appearance and attitudes views and sentiments then they were both seeking degrees mira in child psychology and pre school education while varati went on to pursue a degree in creative writing after they obtained their degrees they were supposed to return to india and marry a man of their father's choice The second part of this plan that is the marriage as at home country the two sisters aborted Mira after successfully gaining her degree in child psychology and preschool education preferred to live in a ways and married a young indian man pursuing his business administration degree at wins university Varati while obtaining her degree in creative writing married a fellow american student in canadian heritage both of them then would be successfully married for 30 plus years and still maintain contact with each other however the narrator varati says that as the only similarity that they have is that they both are immigrants coming from india to america Varati being the more outgoing and open-minded sister of the two chooses to welcome as much change as new continent could offer obtaining her green card then later her citizenship she welcomed 
the difficulties of marrying a man from a different culture wanting all the challenges that were accustomed to to adopting the american culture she moved around to different states and even went to live in husband's family in canada she wanted to set fruits in the country she lived in vote and make a difference in any way that she could she simply wanted to feel like she belonged to her new land mira on the other hand being more of an introvert and a patriot and a patriot of her country culture felt it necessary to never involve in american culture and felt contentment with her labor certification mira stuck her roots and her ancestral culture but contributed significant amount of her expertise in child in child psychology and preschool education to american educational system and and nationally has been recognized for her efforts the two sisters could not be any more different in their experiences of america in this time new laws were being established about the issues of possessing an american citizenship and a green card certification this causes mira to become irritated at the way she felt america was treating its hard work immigrants however varati always being able to look at both sides of an issue objectively did not see it that way she tried to urge her sister to get a green card so that she would still be eligible for benefits that came with being an american citizen or a green card holder she replied she would just until she was ready to go back to her country she would change her citizenship back to being a citizen of india varati then saw her sister in a different light they certainly were not the same where she was passionate about being a new country her sister preferred to be like an exile living in a country but not her own country in conclusion mukherjee discusses their different marital and career paths their different decisions about becoming us citizens and the different situations they face now that government policy towards resident aliens have changed she also refers to finding herself in a situation similar to her sisters and feeling a similar sense of betrayal when she was living in canada at a time when anti immigration sentiment ran high in the wake of con- congressional proposals to restrict the rights and government benefits allowed to resident aliens that is foreign born people who live legally in united states but who choose not to become united citizens indian born mukherjee contrasts her sister a resident alien with herself a naturalized citizen with mixed feeling mukherjee sympathizes with her sister's anger over america's changing its rules in midstream but at the same time characterizes her sister's relationship with america as a comfortable yet loveless marriage without risks or recklessness mukherjee however embraces the trauma of self transformation that becoming a citizen has required